this right here is a rocket engine that I junk bashed and scratch built using a dead LED light bulb as a starting point. It took me almost an entire month to complete and now it is the big brother to this uh, jet engine made from a Yakut bottle. Welcome to Cut Transform Glue. I have an issue here in my house where the LED light bulbs they don't last uh, very long and because of that I'm constantly re replacing them and I end up with this uh, big collection of dead light bulbs. Taking them apart is pretty easy, you just have to use some force. I'm pretty sure there's something useful on the insides but for this project I'm going to just use the shape of the light bulb. Now to complete the bell shaped nozzle of the rocket engine and using the trick I showed you guys before I marked the surface of the light diffuser and I'm cutting it with a cutting disc with my Dremel tool. I'll glue it to the white piece using some CA glue and here I have the full bell shape uh, for the nozzle. Then I went shopping for some griblies and right away I found this very good looking piece right here. It fits perfectly right here on the inside of the light bulb. Inside of it goes a plastic tube and on the middle of it goes this other griblie right here. I'm not entirely sure what this is but it looks amazing and it goes on with the theme set by the first griblie. This black tube goes right here, adding some body to the nozzle, but so far I have something that looks like a flashlight. So yeah, let's add more things to it. Beginning with this, uh, medicine flasks right here, I want them to be angled outwards like this. So I went on Fusion 360 and I 3D modeled this piece right here. As you can see, it sets the general angle to the medicine flasks. I just have to trim the excess and attach them to the holes. So far so good, but I still want to keep growing the rocket engine up. So I went shopping again and I found this Gribby which fits perfectly onto this one. So satisfying. And these two go on the top of this one right here. Also the same diameter. And this blue Gribby right here is the connector to the rocket nozzle. On the bottom of the blue 3D printed piece, I glued some cast griblies. Not only to cover that hole, but also to add some detail when looking from the bottom up. This is from a collection of cast griblies I've been slowly trying to grow. And I also did the same thing to the top of the bandicing flasks. I liked where I was in terms of size, but I felt I still wanted to, to grow it just a little bit more. So I found this flask right here. I added yet another piece of a dead light bulb, uh, some M4 bolt and nut, and it attaches right here to the top of this one. And this, I believe, is the full size of the rocket engine. Let's add a cut of primer. And this is the result and I believe the final size of the rocket engine. Now let's begin adding detail beginning with the nozzle. Using my 3D printer I made a bunch of concentric rings. These are just some 1mm high, uh, really thin uh, rings that I made using PLA. The real challenge right here is to remove it from the build plate without uh, too much damage. Oh and by the way the SCL files are available for my patrons. But anyways these are really fast to print so I made a bunch of these. My original idea was to glue these rings with some regular spacing like precisely but that turned out to be quite hard so yeah I ended up gluing them kind of at random. Now of course a rocket engine needs a bunch of tubing so let's start adding them. So I made this design right here with a Y and L shaped uh, angled tubing. Each one had to be glued, sanded, received a coat of putty and some primer. STL files are also available for my patrons alongside the surface detail and hundreds of other designs. So uh, if you want to support this channel please check the links on the description box. 
then I made this piece right here which has an angle to the tubes and it places them in between each of the medicine flasks and all I had to do at this point was to keep growing the tubes around the, the surface of the model uh, in a way I felt was interesting Recently I got this from a thrift store. This is a kid's toy and it is made of a plastic that is uh, easily bendable. So I decided to use it to add some tubing to the rocket engine as it is super easy to work with. So I just went adding holes and pieces of tubing to the surface uh, but at this point I was still trying to make it symmetrical uh, so every piece that I added I had to make uh, like four times with the same shape. Not gonna lie, that was quite challenging at some points, but it was all worth it. I went shopping again, but this time my idea is to create sort of a turbo looking thing to go in between the, the tubes on the rocket engine. This was some sanding to improve the surface area and some sea glue to keep the pieces together. I took care of the middle hole with another Gribbly that looks amazing. This drinking bottle cap went right here in the back, added a bunch of surface details and primed the thing and it sits right here in between uh, some tubes on the rocket engine. I feel it looks amazing, even crooked like this uh, to the side. The top piece also needs some love, some attention, so I added a couple of details here and there. The sides were also too empty, so I added like some fins using acrylic pieces. And then I've added some surface detail, and this one is ready for another coat of primer. Now from there I went and I made these uh, two interesting looking pieces. They were also primed and they sit in between the tubes like this. Everything received an extra coat of primer and I'm really happy with how uh, things are turning out but you guys know me, this is not the end of this project I still feel I need to make an extra detail pass so let's go for it If you have a dead or an older laptop laying around, here's a quick tip for you guys. Underneath each of the keycaps, well, alongside a, a lot of dust and dead human cells, there are some amazing tiny pieces like this one right here. Uh, I believe this is called like the butterfly mechanism, uh, not entirely sure. And also, needless to say, I have a ton of these saved from all of these years. But anyways, uh, these are awesome for some surface detail and you don't even need to use the whole thing, you can trim it down like I did and glue it to the surface. So yeah, look around for some dead laptops and put them to use. And after a couple of days working just on the surface detail, on the last detail pass, uh, this right here is the result. A, a ton of tubing and surface detail went into it and I love uh, the, the result. And so finally it received the last coat of primer, but this is still not the end of this project. I have one extra step that I feel will make this model look amazing, and that is the wash. This time I went with an acrylic wash on primer and I began by adding some brown and then some black to make this sort of a burnt dark grey color right here. And you guys know the drill, you have to apply it really thin down to the surface of the model and clean it as best as you can. I'm cleaning it with a rag but I'm also using some q-tips on the tight spots. And at the end of the process I don't throw the q-tips away, I save them and as you guys know I make some uh, cool CA glue dozers with them. Now of course you need to make sure that the thinner you're using for the wash process uh, is inflammable. And after a while this right here is the result. This is the rocket engine made from a dead light bulb. 
I'll just go ahead and say that I wasn't expecting this project to grow so big. I only had the lamp, the nozzle in mind when I began it, but I'm really happy with the end result. And let me just grab the jet engine from my Yakut bottle, another video here in the channel that I made uh, years ago to compare it. As you can see, this new one is much bigger and I like it very much. Thank you so much if you watched this far in the video and a special thanks to all my amazing Patreon supporters. You all made all of this possible, so yeah, thank you so much. And check the links in the description box if you want to join the family. Happy holidays everyone and I'll talk to you guys on the next one.